In laboratories all around the globe, scientists are pushing the boundaries of technological innovation. Their aim, to create robots, cyborgs and androids in our own image and likeness. As the promise of nuclear energy turned into the prospect of Armageddon, as genetic engineering now delivers the imminent reality of human clones, so the world of robotics and cybernetics now threatens our position as the dominant species on Earth. The difference is at this time we were warned, and by movie makers of all people. doing with cyborg research, linking technology with humans, there are short-term positives and long-term negatives. For the best part of the 20th century, science fiction movie directors have been showing what the future might hold for us. But it now appears that we are approaching a time uncomfortably close at hand when these screen fantasies will become part of our world for real. It does frighten me. It, it does frighten me. Uh, maybe it's out of ignorance or... Um, there's certain things that I, I think are sacred. Human life is one of them. It's now becoming quite a possible thing. It's not in the realms of fantasy quite so much as it was. Ultimately, we have to face the fact that many, many generations from now, something like that will happen. I don't believe we're looking further 20, 30 years for us to get into a dangerous scenario. Who's behind it? You know, it makes you question, who's the mastermind here? Why? Why? Because we can. One important role that movies and books can play and have played is to actually issue warnings. So to consider possible future scenarios and then say, you know, look, this is pretty scary. Early examples in the movies were hardly that. They were normally ludicrous tin can or cardboard creations with all the fearsome qualities of a clockwork mouse. But in 1921, a play opened which first introduced the word robot into everyday use. Rossum's Universal Robots was written by Karl Kepek in Prague at a time when the significance of the Russian Revolution was beginning to set in. The Czech word robota actually means drudgery or servitude, and Kepek's play would set a theme to be repeated frequently over the next 80 years. That was the story of man versus machine and who was the master and who was the servant type of thing because sometimes the lines get blurred at least that was his theme in 1926 the world's first great movie robot appears surely the first science fiction classic is um, metropolis and there you see uh, the poor workers working away and uh, the creation of this beautiful but rather devilish robot. Fritz Lang's epic Metropolis took 16 months to shoot, cost 7 million German marks, and had a cast of over 37,000 people. It actually showed the first female robot, who was actually uh, a social worker, a woman for the people, and then the mad scientist got a hold of her and transformed her into an evil robot to try to keep the masses repressed. Lang's robot, the False Maria, was not a literal prediction of some technological future, but a metaphor for the social and political anxieties of the 20s. Freedom versus oppression. 
capitalism versus labor, and the tyranny of industrial machines in the age of the Model T Ford production line.